Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. And Detroit getting set to go now. you're going to need to do against those big receivers you got to get in there and get physical with them that time he got in close got in tight and knocked the ball away an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 here's the first carry for Bo Scarborough and once again they stop him behind the line great job by this Ravens defense two yards the loss and now third and 12. I like the strategy extra tight ends extra beef they want to run the football but that means they probably want to run it inside if you get strung out on the perimeter you're in peril yeah we saw the result negative yardage throwing on third down Stafford some applause for the defense there. They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense back out there. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. They go screen. This is Ingram. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that, and here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Jackson throwing on target to Brown. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Brings up third and inches. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. 
the best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Ingram again, a first down carry. There goes Mark Ingram. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Taking it in from 24 yards out. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. Seven yards, the pick up there. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. Now it's Stafford. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. With the score, Ravens 7, Lions nothing. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. From the gun, here's Stafford. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again. Stafford over the middle. It's Amendola. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. To the air again, Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. 
Now a first down throw. Stafford. A slant to Jones. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Marvin, five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Stafford throws complete to Galladay. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. This will be caught at about the five. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he could... And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Seven. Justice Hill. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. An option run with Ingram. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Brings up second and seven at the 44-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, Jackson steps away. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Jackson's throw caught here by Boykin. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route. 
and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10 now from the 27. To throw again. Jackson. Quick slant to Brown. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 13-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20 yard line. Jamie Collins just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, he's going to drop this underneath to Ingram. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, it's Jackson. For a left side complete, it's Ingram. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the Ravens strike first at threes in. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Lions offense set to take over. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brings up second and four at the 31-yard line. 
The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Looking to throw again on second down. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. An 11-yard loss on the play. Brings up third down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The dangerous hill now to return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Up come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And he's into the clear. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 74 yards. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. Well, we've certainly seen this before, CD. No one can quite electrify a crowd like Lamar Jackson and really don't know what else to say other than that was special right there. I think you pretty much said it all, but I go back to what you said about electrifying a crowd. He's also electrifying us, and we're calling the game. This guy's simply sensational. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. And five. A shotgun snap for Stafford. It's caught, Jones. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Stafford to Jones, enough for a Lion first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. 
Stafford on first down. Looking sideline incomplete. He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. Where was the intentional grounding call? Oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. On second and ten, Stafford. Open man is Galladay complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. A good pick up there of 22. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. On first and 10, Stafford. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. Let's see about the call. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. Blitz coming and down he goes. Calais Campbell fighting his way home for the sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage. But not much more than that. It's not well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Third and long. It's Stafford. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him, as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. A terrible spot for a holding call as they'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. A run in the Jets sweep with Jones. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. A pickup of two brings up second and goal. So it'll be second and goal when we return. We played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Still away from the end zone as they come up now on second and goal. Out of the gun, Stafford. Stiff armed him. It's caught outright Amendola. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. spans all that time and yet you may only come away with three points here well your defense all right they actually like these long drives they get to rest over on the sidelines for a while but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns that's frustrating they've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes 
And the 13-year man puts it through. And they're back within a touchdown at 17 to 10. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. And now he's going to use his legs. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Throwing is Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And it's third down. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun. Jackson, that ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. To throw again is Jackson. Over the middle complete. That's Andrews. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And Jackson throwing once more. Caught by Snead over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick out, things that they consider safe. Probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play.
After the penalty, it's Ingram. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Stop will come inside the five at the four. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. On third down, Mark Ingram. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front, and a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Tucker's kick is good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done. But, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, Two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Incomplete. It's now second and ten at the 25-yard line. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Stafford. He's going to let it fly. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Incomplete. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. 
One last throw here for Stanford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.